Hi everyone, I'm here at 24 Mercury Pass. It is a four bedroom, three bathroom house for $390 a week. So, out the front here, we've got native gardens, freshly mulched, little decorative stone pathway right there, and decorative stones all the way throughout. This is really easy care gardens, guys. You retick throughout. Um, and small pets are considered here so we've got a double door garage right here it's uh, automated and right through here we've got some artificial lawn so let's have a look inside let's check out the double garage first it's got an easy access door right here opposite the front door so if we go in here easily can fit two cars in here or one car and use the rest for storage um, as I said before automated system I've got some remotes here there's also a control right there so if you like you can just close the door through there so we'll close that up and we'll go into the main bit of the house. It's a cute little front porch area here where you can have a look out on your Bali inspired easy care gardens. So right away in the entrance we've got a double PowerPoint here so you can put like a tall boy or just shelving there, decorate it up. Massive open living area including with the kitchen so massively open plan and you've got quite a few hooks up there so you can decorate it to how you like these massive windows let in so much light it's nearly ridiculous <laughs> um, so you've got a double PowerPoint there and a double PowerPoint over here with a TV aerial so you can set up your TV right between those windows. How nice and symmetrical. You've also got some hooks up here. So I don't know, maybe you can sheet that off for whatever reason you like. There's some hooks on this wall as well as a split system aircon. So all of this living area can be cooled really quickly. Um, You've got your breakfast bar here with a one and a half bowl um, sink with inbuilt drains, plugs, so you just push that in and that's a plug and it also catches all your food scraps so then they don't go down the um, drain system and destroy our pipes. <laughs> Alright, so you've got quite a lot of storage space in this kitchen and a lot of bench top space. So this would be really good for any cooks out there who are looking for a rental. Um, exhaust system above a gas cooktop with a wok burner. And of course your four different sizes of burners. You've got this oven right there with a drawer underneath it and some more cupboards on this side as well that's not to your liking you can just come through here and sorry I'll just back up a little bit here is sort of a butler's pantry kitchen thing so you can whack your tall double door fridge in here with the double power points there's also another double power point here and here is your pantry so you can see it's absolutely massive so as I said cooks Please rent this place because this kitchen would go to waste if someone didn't like cooking rented here. Um, dishwasher included. Always love a dishwasher and you can't always use your kids as a dishwasher. All right, right off the living area. This could be a bedroom or it could be a study. It's up to you. Um, we've got a double PowerPoint here. And on the other side, a double PowerPoint and a TV aerial. So this 
is a dark painted room with dark carpet. So maybe could suit a teenager going through their emo phase. Um, in through here, you can close this section off if you want to cool down just the living areas or if you want to just shut the kids off. So through here, we've got a little study or a walkway into a bedroom. We've got double PowerPoint here. If you wanted to use this as a bedroom, I'd say a double bed could fit in here. Um, probably a queen, but it would be a tight fit. And then this is ov quite obviously a bedroom because it's got some built-in robes with some sliding doors. So you've got your rail under there, you've got a shelf that you can put all your stuff on. This could definitely fit a queen or a king. There's double PowerPoint right there and it just overlooks onto some plants in the backyard. So we come back through this little section here down in the hallway and here's the bathroom main bathroom right here. We've got a separate bath to the shower. Pretty good shower, detachable hose head. I know some people prefer those. Got some racks for your soap and your shampoo bottles and some more soap because we all love soap nowadays. Valentine unit with some storage space underneath, got the shelves happening in there, and of course the bath with a little shelf for your bath products. This can be closed if you want some space, and hello, that's me. No, it's not just me, it's a mirror. And then you've got your double PowerPoint right there. All right, back into the hallway. We'll go into the laundry. So this is the laundry. Tiled. We've got a little linen cupboard here. It's quite big. You can step through into it. And it's got a light as well. So if you can't find your pillowcase, you can turn the light on and make it easier to find. So behind the door here, We've got bench space, so you can fold your clothes right in the laundry. You don't have to bring them anywhere. You've got your washing machine tabs. Washing machine could fit there, or even underneath it if it's a front loader. Got your double PowerPoint, and you've got your controller for your hot water system. So you can heat up the water, cool down the water, do whatever you like with the water. In off the uh, laundry is a separate toilet so you don't have to fight over who gets to shower and who gets to go to the toilet. Uh, double flusher, quite standard toilet with your exhaust fan and everything like that. This sliding door goes out onto your easy care yard. So, step right out, you've got your garden right up there, got a hose reel, so you can wind it all up when you're done with it. Right over here is your gas instantaneous hot water system that you've got your controls in the laundry for. And if you keep going along the artificial lawn, or hop over onto the path, And you've got this gorgeous little backyard. Fake lawn, got a little gazebo with a bench. This lawn, this garden is actually Bali inspired. Got a bird bath over there. And I love these egg seats. I've always wanted one. So this patio here, we've got some lanterns in the Bali traditional style. We've got a sideboard right here. We've got a double PowerPoint. And you don't even have to go through the house to access the backyard. You can just 
pop in through that gate right there. Let's go see the rest of the house. Coming back out through the laundry, back into the hallway, and we've got two more minor bedrooms at the end of this hallway. All right, so this carpeted, you could fit a double, queen would be a um, bit of a squeeze, but manageable. Um, got a PowerPoint, double PowerPoint there. Also a double PowerPoint there, right next to the phone point and the internet point. Moving along to this bedroom. Ooh, this is one of the master bedrooms, actually. It's not a minor bedroom. So, queen or king. Queen could be a bit more comfortable. King could be a squeeze. Um, you've got double PowerPoint right there. And look at that, that's a built-in robe for all your clothing needs. Just open her up, have a look. Shelving, rail, and a mirror. You don't have to have the mirror. <laughs> Got a little hook there so you can customize this room. And we've got massive massive shower right here you could fit maybe two people three people would be a bit of a squeeze but you it could definitely be done um, adjustable shower head with removable rows you've got all of these shelves for all of your toiletries and soaps you've got your taps right there beautifully tiled Got a mirror, hello again, how are you? All right, this is the vanity with massive cupboard space. Look how big that cupboard is. Put so many toiletries in there. Look, that's the double towel rail. And behind this door is your own toilet. So there's no more queuing up for the toilet. So that's all separate. So you could even have a shower here and someone in the toilet there. All right. Let's go find the other master bedroom, shall we? Down through this hall, through the kitchen. So you could easily have two couples living here and each have their own little spaces. So, didn't show you before, but this goes out into the beautifully Bali inspired gardens. You come down this hallway and this is the master of the master bedrooms. This is pretty damn massive. King bed could fit in here and have space to do cartwheels. Um, all right, so this door also leads out onto the garden area so you don't have to see anyone if you wanna go outside. Um, double PowerPoint on this wall right across opposite double PowerPoint on this wall. This is the ensuite for this master bedroom. You've got separate toilet right there. Always need the separate toilet. Um, you've got two double towel rails, four towels worth of towel rails. So we've got the vanity. And again, this storage space in this house you don't have to have anything lying around. You can just put it all in there. Also, same as the other ensuite, massive shower. Two people could fit in here. Three people could be a squeeze, but it could still be done. Again, we've got the adjustable shower head with the detachable rose. Got soap dish, soap dish, shampoo and conditioner. Um, shelf and you can also put stuff up there. Alrighty. Last but not least, the walk-in robe, which is pretty important in my opinion for all the clothes. Now, it's not too small. Look at all of that space. So I'd say there's easily three meters of rail in this place so you can hang up three meters worth of clothes 
Got your own little light in here. Got your shelf. That's the view from the other way. All right, thanks for taking this tour with me, guys. And if you'd like to rent this place, please contact our office or get in touch with one of our girls.